Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook. We are in sync, at least for the time being. We are in sync, ladies and gentlemen, but today I am going to resist the urge to put your comments on the screen um, just to make sure that I can continue to pinpoint why we are having strange delays or discrepancies between audio and video. But back to what matters. Here we are, exchanging headlines from our city, our state, and our country, exchanging information. Um, oh my goodness, Betsy Ann. Betsy Ann was wearing, I, see, I almost want to put the comment on the screen, but I don't want to go delayed. Betsy Ann was in our gathering at Whiskey Kitchen last night, and she was wearing her tie tight shirt. It was great to see you, dear friend. Um, we'll talk about that later on, but before we get into the heart of the matter, as always, it is a pleasure to get together with you and exchange information. Today is Friday, June 17. Let's play our Friday song. No delays? Got it. Okay, so no delays. I love it. Um, let's see, let's see. If you are new to the broadcasts, please let us know by writing the word new, and we will be so very happy to welcome you to our cluster, our little get together. I hope you have a nice beverage. I am drinking iced coffee from a mason jar today. And so I'm good to go, at least for the next 35 minutes. This is a good cup of coffee I'm enjoying. Um, also, if you have something truly important to mention, you know it helps a great deal if you add a capital letter Q. That way we will know that you want is brought up and not necessarily that you're having conversations among yourselves, which is also quite lovely. Luna and I have prepared some interesting notes and news to share with you today. So we might as well get started with those so that we can move on with our weekend. I'll get to, oh, oh my goodness, Ryan, you're, you've already been here and left. I hope you had a great time here in town. Ryan is back in Chevy Chase. Um, but I'm glad that you booked your Christmas trip already and have something to look forward to. I, oh, that reminds me, remind me to tell you about Wynton Marsalis because I'm going to forget. And if I don't tell you today, and if I forget, it's no big deal. But Wynton Marsalis is coming to Guadalajara with the Lincoln Jazz, the Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. And that's going to be a huge concert. Oh my goodness, I'm sure the tickets are going to be wicked expensive because it's a lot of musicians to move from one place to another, but um, uh, I, that's yet another reason to go to Guadalajara. Anyhow, I'm all over the place today. I apologize. It is Friday. We get that way, plus we're happy that the weekend is here. But let us go back to our order and take it from there. We're still in sync. I love it. So it rained again last night, and each time this happens, the rain continues to complicate things.
for folks living in Colonias, Buenos Aires, Paso Ancho, and beyond as the water level in the Rio Cuale makes it difficult, if not impossible, to use the temporary crossing that was put into place for vehicles to be able to reach these points. Apparently, the leveling of Manantial Street and the construction of the protection wall next to it has advanced enough for the construction company that is in charge of the project to allow for provisional vehicle passing next to it. This had been previously reported by friends. Um, but as we've been mentioning all along, it is a race against, against time and it's a race, a race against the summer weather. Every time it rains, I keep thinking uh, things going to get better or worse. And let's hope that they continue to get better. I also want to, oh, here's a, a, a better photograph of what things are looking like. This is the temporary crossing that I know had been used, but right around the corner is where the river level has increased. So I don't know if what they're doing is allowing cars to come up this way or what, but again, hopefully this will improve with time. Uh, if I also wanted to mention, we brought this up a few days ago, it is now possible for you to pre-register your children ages 5 to 11 to be able to receive the COVID-19 vaccine protocol. Pre-registration takes place in the usual Mi Vacuna website, where all other age groups continue to be able to pre-register to receive vaccines whenever the vaccines become available. It is worth mentioning that no specific dates have been announced yet for a vaccination campaign for the youngest age group, the children, but I would imagine it is coming in the near future. And of course, we will share this information with you as soon as it becomes available. I have great news for soccer fans. If you're a soccer fan, you'll be happy to know that preparations for the World Soccer Cup in 2026 are already underway. The 2026 FIFA or FIFA, depending on how you, where you are, the, the FIFA World Cup is a quadrennial International Men's Association Football Championship contested by the national teams of the member associations of FIFA. The tournament will be jointly hosted by 16 cities in three North American countries, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. Stadiums in three cities in Mexico have been included in this selection. We have the Azteca Stadium in Mexico City participating, the BBVA Stadium in Monterrey, and we see here a photograph of the Akron uh, Stadium in Guadalajara. The stadium is clearly visible from the highway as, um, as we walk as, as we drive into the city, I see a comment here, Paco, you keep fading in and out on audio. I am not seeing that in my meters. I seem to be doing fine. But if anybody else is experiencing problems with audio, please let me know. Um, and I think this is a good time to switch over to the weather forecast just to see how I, uh, bleh, just to see what we can expect for the next few days. Oh my goodness, it would help if I turned the weather on. Hold on just a second. Hello, Carrot Weather. Thank you for joining us. Search for a location. Let's search for Puerto Vallarta. Thank you. The human body is exceedingly fragile. I can think of at least <laughs> 7,891 ways to kill you, says our snarky weatherman. Snarky weatherman must be in a good mood, I suppose. We are enjoying 28 degrees, feels like 35, humidity is at 98%, nothing to write about. <laughs> and our numbers in Fahrenheit degrees are 82 degrees at present time. There's a 23% chance of rain and our weather forecast for today says rain and humidity throughout the day with a high of 30 and a low of 24. Saturday, tomorrow, we'll be enjoying possible light rain until morning, starting again in the evening with a high of 29 and a low of 24. And Sunday, rain in the evening and overnight with a high of 30 
and a low of 24. Of course, we have all that activity going on in the Pacific Ocean with storms and whatnot. Let us take a quick look at what's going on as far as that is concerned. First of all, it's good to know that Hurricane Blas is now headed away from Mexico's Pacific coast, but will continue to grace us with rain in the next few days, as you have just seen. Meanwhile, a new tropical depression yet to become a storm and yet to be named is now brewing off the coast of Guatemala and San Salvador. Early predictions show that just as its predecessor, it will head out to the ocean and not travel close to our coast. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Nonetheless, this is the way it works. If you are new to Puerto Vallarta in the summer, is things are all about keeping track of storm after storm after storm. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about our our meet or the meet that was organized at Whiskey Kitchen last night. It was a lot of fun. It was well attended. And as I mentioned, uh, it is great to see that uh, Gina, who owns the restaurant, is opening her space for all kinds of activities by specialized groups. Um, I, 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 oh no. <laughs> I see a funny comment to that effect. There's a cue by Marie. In fact, let me put this on the screen just to see if I'm going to make everything go bonkers. Help. Suffering from my first hangover in years. I don't drink much. Need a cure. Found my new favorite neighborhood hangout at Whiskey Kitchen last night. Was great meeting you, Paco. And of course, the delightful Gina. And we're still in sync. I love it. Well, it was fun. The good thing is that Gina scheduled a Democrats Abroad meeting from 4 to 6. So when I got there around 6.30, there was a nice, still a nice group of Democrats hanging out. And there was some overlap between Democrats and members of the LGBTQ community. I was very happy to run into friends like Trisha Lyman and her husband, Mark, uh, Mike, sorry, Mike. And of course, we know that Trisha runs the very excuse me, the very successful Puerto Vallarta, everything you need or want to know Facebook group. So that was a lot of fun. And then, of course, uh, the presence of Democrats started dwindling and more people started showing up for our shindig. And I have a short little video because at some point it started to rain and, um, and it rained quite heavily while we were there, but this didn't deter our fun. You know, we were comfortable inside there was live music going on there was about i don't know between 20 to 30 people at some point and we all enjoyed music some people just drank other people had dinner other people enjoyed the music other people you know had a combination of this that and the other but um it was great people were grateful to have the get together and of course one more get together or more get togethers will be will be planned for the future. Among those people that showed up was my dear friend Carmen Porras of Oculto. She was there with her wife, Claudia, and we got, up, uh, we got all caught up in all kinds of topics, but I couldn't help but to notice a beautiful T-shirt that, um, that Carmen was, was wearing, one of those engraved T-shirts, not en engraved, is it engraving? Screen printed, screen printed T-shirts. I did not take a photograph of the front, but I did take a photograph of the back of the t-shirt because Carmen told me the story behind it. It is, this says Sirena Sarandeada, which literally translates into um, Shaken Mermaid. And this is the brand of a local artist. Her name is Claudia Vasquez. And, um, and she seems to have a certain affinity for hearts in her artwork. The front of the T-shirt that Carmen was wearing had a beautiful engraving of, um, of a human heart. And I learned from Carmen that she, the artist, Claudia, sets up shop at the Malecon right around from where uh, Lick's ice cream is. And here we can see some of her engravings. There's one of a heart. Let me see if I can. There you go. So she does beautiful, beautiful engravings in t-shirts i don't know if she does pizza but she includes a lot of photographs of pizza and flowers but you can see here that um 
Apparently, she can be found at the Malecon. I'm definitely going to look for her because the design of her uh, of the T-shirt that Carmen was wearing was absolutely remarkable. I know that I saw at least one T-shirt here on her Facebook stream. Let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see. Da, da, di, da, di, da, da. I know that I saw at least a t-shirt and I want to show that to you if I can, but if not, you can see, oh, there it is. See, there is a nice t-shirt, uh, of one of her hearts. And I thought that was a very fascinating and unique subject matter because it, it's the hearts are intervened in this case with waves and a moon and so forth and so on. So I love, I love the fact that, um, these local artists are doing interesting things and there is a, a great way for us to support this work again i'll be looking for her and we will mention her in the show notes in case um we happen to cross paths with her i see that albert says here i own two of claudia's shirts she is very nice too she also has prints i bought a shirt and a cup of ice cream <laughs> i think that is absolutely wonderful um, something else that I want to mention, it is, I find it interesting that there is also another uh, gay meetup, another LGBT get together. This one is happening tonight at Granvas, which is the wine bar that we uh, took a quick look at, the new wine bar that is located across from Trio Restaurant. And this happens today. It is hosted or co-hosted by Jordan Carnegie, who's a local artist, and Mao Cervera, who is one of the owners or the owner of Granvas. Um, I can't help but to find it interesting that, um, that uh, these get-togethers for and by the LGBT community are starting to move out of Emiliano Zapata. And if I find it interesting to see that they are taking place not at conventional gay bars or gay gathering places. I don't know that this is good or bad. I just think it's interesting and I think it's wonderful that we have more options for more different groups of people to find each other and connect with one another. Um, so I hope that tonight's meetup at Grand Bus is very successful. Before we get into your comments, I have two um, more oddities to share with you. These came from my wonderful YouTube, as you know, we love to follow things on YouTube and YouTube occasionally sends me things that are interesting. The first thing that I want to share with you is I found um, the Puebla sinkhole mentioned in this 10 most dangerous holes on earth video. So one of those holes is in Mexico. It's the sinkhole that showed up in Puebla. You may remember that the sinkhole opened in a field in the town of Santa Maria Zacatepec in the state of Puebla on the afternoon of May 29 of 2021. It had a measly diameter of 15 feet or 4.6 meters. But as you can see from this image, it is way, way, way larger now and it continues to expand. Scientists cannot um, say for sure um, whether, why this is happening. And then, of course, I ran into another interesting video. This one is of the five biggest trees on earth. And of course, we mentioned recently that uh, the Ahuehuete in a city in Oaxaca is the widest tree in the world, and it is featured in this video. I could not help but to chuckle over the fact that the narrator of this video referred to the state of Oaxaca as Oaxaca, um, which deserves one of these. Yes, it's not the state of Oaxaca, it's the state of Oaxaca. And let me, before we get into your comments, uh, thank you for that observation, Bob. Let me quickly take a look at, oh, my bad, my bad. You are absolutely right. It is tomorrow, not today. The gay meetup at Grand Bus is tomorrow. My apologies. I was not paying enough attention. Clearly, I need a little bit more coffee. So, yes, this is going to be tomorrow. 
And now let me take a quick look. At, oh my God, we're still in sync. I love that. So things are good. I still don't know why we went out of sync in the past couple of days, but I'm glad to see that we are in sync. Since we are approaching the end of the broadcast, I will allow myself to bring up some comments if they are um, if they are relevant. Let's see what we have. Boom, 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 boom. Um, you wouldn't know it, but when I go purum pum pum, I'm actually thinking of a very specific classical piece of music. I will tell you which one, one of these days. Oh, thank you very much, Kate. I am not feeling particularly joyful or happy, but I'm always happy to get together. Um, I'm feeling particularly schwitzy, but that is not new. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see what else we have. Oh, there's a great word that I could never even begin to pronounce, although I've read it before. Re oh, no, I can't try that. Bill, I'm happy that you're chiming in from that beach that starts with an R, but I, no, I don't want to, I don't want to mess that word up, but it is a beautiful word. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> Rod says, He's today saying good morning from Bahia de Banderas, not from Bucerías. I love it. I love it. May, may the state of Nayarit find a path to figure out what they want to call themselves moving forward. Um, Ryan reports on airlines, airline prices through the roof. Usually they are very expensive around the Christmas season. Um, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to find something that works for you. Uh, yes, yes, Troy, Winton Marsalis. I forget the date. Um, in fact, hold on. Can I actually find this really quickly? Can I do this? I saved it. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I love saving things from Facebook. Let's see. Yes, I'm going to a link. Yes, come on. Let me in. We're going to Conjunto Santander. Come on. Sometime before Christmas. There we go. Okay, so, oh, and that's not that expensive. The Winton Marsalis Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra will be in Guadalajara on October 25th. The most expensive tickets are 1,500 pesos. That's not a lot of money, friends. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am just giddy about this. I can't believe it because it's such a, they are such an amazing ensemble. Um, and to see them play live, I mean, for all the time that I lived in Boston and I went to New York, I never saw them play live. So I'm excited. I'm giddy. Let's go. Let's make a trip. Enough for that. Let's see. Uh, oh, no. COVID jail for me, says Mark. I hope you feel better. Uh, Logan is reporting from Hawaii. Aloha Nui Loa. I hope that's not an insult. From my uncle's upstairs bedroom loft overlooking the beautiful grounds of Turtle Bay on the island of Oahu. <clears throat> I love it. I love it. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have. Do, 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 do. Friends who live in Buenos Aires say that they are able to use a single lane to get in and out. Enough of the original road has been repaired to make that possible. Thank you for that report, Den. Um, I haven't ventured in that neck of the woods in a long, long time, but I do feel for people that have to cross over on a regular basis, and I hope it continues to... What? Uh, that continues to get better. Brad says, apparently the gay games have been awarded to Guadalajara. They happen in November of 2020, uh, 2023. Actually, um, I had read that the games were going to another city, Brad. I don't know where you read this. If you have a URL or website that you wish to share with us, I would very much appreciate it because uh, we had covered this in the past, and I'm surprised to see that the games are coming to Guadalajara after all. Very interesting. Uh, let's see what else bill says i can't wait to join the cluster for these gatherings well we will continue to make the gatherings and support the gatherings at whiskey kitchen or any other place that people want to get together 
at. I think it's awesome that we create instances for us to meet one another, to enrich our community, and to support local businesses. I don't think it gets better than that. Uh, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Um, we commented on this. Thank you again, Bob, for pointing out my mistake. The other get together is going to be tomorrow night. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Do -do -de 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 -de. Interesting. I think LGBTQ plus events held at non-gay venues can be less pressure. Also, I know Granvis is a wine bar, but it's a nice it's nice to have events where alcohol isn't the primary focus. You know, it's it's I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful that different communities or micro communities are creating opportunities for ourselves or themselves. You know, if there's a bunch of people that enjoy wine. I think it's great that we have places to do that. If there are people that enjoy outdoors, there are opportunities for that. Um, and we will continue to promote and celebrate any instances of people get, doing get-togethers just to enrich the community. Um, let's see. Let's organize a group trip to see Winton. I am game. I am so totally game. I know that I'm going to go. And if anybody wants to tag along, I think it is... Um, it is it is a great great idea paco isn't it amazing looking back 20 25 years ago how puerto vallarta was with a few restaurants galleries couple of bars to what we have now so many fun new businesses here onwards and upward michael i totally agree with you there is so much to choose from nowadays it is interesting to see how some of us have moved forward with our mindsets in the notion that we now live in a larger city with more options. And some of us have continued to, um, to not do so and live in a microcosm that hasn't changed much. Um, my wish for everyone or anyone is that we allow ourselves to expand beyond our comfort levels and go and explore new places and new experiences. But it is amazing and it is wonderful to have so many things to choose from. I love it. Let's see what else we have. Uh, oh, hello from Nova Scotia, Canada. Here for a short visit before returning to Mexico. Always great to hear your voice and see your friendly face. Well, always great to see you here, Blair. Uh, it is great to see all of you. Thank you very much for that. Um, Peter. Uh, Peter is part of what I now uh, affectionately call my museum friends because Peter, I had the pleasure of meeting at the first Saturdays at the museum. It was great to see you guys again, and I hope to cross paths with you sometime in the very near future. It was absolutely fun to see you. Um, and this, my friends, brings us to the end of today's broadcast. I am very grateful to have spent with you without any delays. Yay! And I keep wiggling my hands because I keep looking for delays and there are no delays in the broadcasts. Have a great Friday. Have a great beginning of the weekend. And of course, here's Gina. Gina, I want to thank you again for your hospitality, for your big heart, and for creating such a comfortable space in your restaurant for us to get together. If you haven't had a chance to visit Whiskey Kitchen Versailles, you're missing out on a great restaurant. Have a wonderful Friday, everyone, and hopefully we'll get together again tomorrow. Take care.